Yo, what up? Yeah, I was waiting to see. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, Allison? Ooh, hoo, 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 the head on that. Look at that. It looks good. I can't tell how big it is. You see that head? That looks pretty good. I can't tell if they're trophies anymore. I'm just gonna try to I'm just gonna try to catch it and see what it is, I guess. <laughs> if I knew for sure that it wasn't a trophy, I would let it go. And just stick to trying to get a trophy, but I can't I can't really tell. It looks pretty good. See the timer was at like ten minutes or something when it just showed its head if somebody wants to clip that people are going to be wondering when they come in with it that little head clip was pretty good might be the best one never know the best time that he shows his head like that What up, Chubb? What up, Arius? Got something on it. Oh, no. Oh, dude, but within my first hour, I had like four. I got four in my net, at least. I got at least four or five. No, I got five in my net, I think. And I let one go. That was probably about 100 kilos or something. I didn't feel like fighting it. But I landed like five little ones. And a burbot. They've been biting like crazy. And then an hour or two went by. I was watching YouTube videos. Nothing happened. There was a weekly? What the hell? Yeah, I caught like a 30 kilo was the biggest one. I just locked the drag and drug him in real quick. But I caught, I had some kind of 100 kilo one, 100 something kilo one on the line. I didn't feel like fighting him for two hours or whatever. I just let him go. So I think I've caught like six. I've had like six on the line, seven counting this one. But this one looks big enough to catch. I mean, I don't know how big, but. The small ones were weak because I didn't even notice. I've been watching YouTube videos of people catching sharks on the beach and shit all day. And I was actually watching like a Ru Russian prison, prison documentary some island where they keep like the worst people or some shit I was just watching that one this one bit I'm eventually taking him out of this corner But yeah, it's like on some island or something. No one's ever escaped it. There's only like 200 people that it can house or something. It was like so it used to be a church or something. It was a pretty cool documentary, I guess. I don't know. Getting kind of bored with it actually. Oh, 
fuck, I was wanting to try something today on my audio settings. I forgot to fucking change it. God damn it. You got your first Vanga and Legacy? Can't wait. Why, aren't, why don't you get in there now? You're not trying right now? They're biting like crazy, man. If you got it, get in there. I mean, I feel bad for you with one rod, but you never know. You might get real lucky even with just one one setup in the water. At least put some other rods out there for sturgeon or wild carp or something. Going for black seas. What up, Vassal? Four eighty, geez, that's depressing, huh? That's probably what this is. The other one never showed his head much. This one showed his head. If you see the timer on the screen, if you want to go back, if you guys that just joined that are good at making clips or whatever, I think he was right around ten minutes on the timer in the top left of the screen. He showed his head really good, and. uh Clip it and tell me what you think about it. Seven hours for nothing. What you mean, bro? I've caught like seven belugas today on the hook. They're biting like crazy. You gotta be doing something wrong. What up, Alka? Forty seven one hundred twenty eight clip. All right, Vassal, go make the clip yourself. If you go click click my name under the stream and then click uh, videos, or you should just see the the most recent broadcast is already like a vod basically. Oh, there he is right there. Can't tell how big it is, but it showed it. He showed it better. Uh, Right at 10 minutes, if you can just rewind the stream on the VOD to like where it says 10 minutes in the top left of the on that timer, and that's right when he showed his head. Like he showed it real good. Look pretty big, but I mean, it's hard to tell anymore. I can't really fucking tell how big they are. Looked good though. Good enough to catch anyway. It's probably not a trophy, let's be honest. But somebody's, I mean, it's not hard. You just click the little clip thing and, I mean, just go back to the VOD or whatever and go to 10 minutes on the top left. Just clip it and it should be real easy to do. Take like 30 seconds. Nah, I'm not going to land it here. I can get him out of the corner easy. Appreciate that, BTK. I'd like to see it myself, but I don't want to risk losing it. I wonder if I can see it on my phone. Channel, clips, no clips in the last 24 hours. Bullshit, somebody just made one. Maybe it takes a second to update. Sitting there telling me there's no been no clips and somebody just made one. Yeah, what do you guys think? Whoever looked at that clip, tell me what you think. 
uh, if, it's, if it's the trophy or just 300, 400, 500, well, I don't even fucking know. I wouldn't even guess anymore. Can't tell at all. It's big enough to catch, so I know. Yeah, Chubb, I just said 10 times that there's a, you can make a clip at 10 minutes. The head shows. Literally been talking about that for like minutes straight. I don't know. What a bow tie. Yeah, I don't know if he's big or not. Oh my god, he was spinning. His tail came up and it spun like he was spinning in circles. Oh man, of course you use braided line. Nah, I'm talking about, I want to know how, what you guys think if this fish is a trophy or not. I don't give a fuck about the last one. What makes me curious is the last one was big, right? And he didn't show his head hardly ever. Like he all, every time he flipped it would just be his tail. Maybe he was too big to show his, I don't know. But this one's showing his head a lot more often than the other one did. So, I don't know, it's hard to, yeah, I'm using eight kilo fluoro line. Of course you use braid. You got to use something strong enough to max out your rod and reel. You're basically risking snapping your rod and reel when you lock the drag to land this thing. So it has to be the strongest lines that still fit enough on there not to get spooled, you know? Yeah, it's looking big. For some reason, the 461 never showed his head. Like, every time he flipped, it would just be tail. It was always tail. Like, he never fucking once showed his head. He showed his nose a couple times on a spin. I seen like his nose. But it's almost like he was too big to show his head. And this one is showing his head. So maybe he's smaller. And that's why he's able to spin more or something. I don't know, man. I can't tell. I'm trying different drag settings to see what... Uh, might make him show more or less. I don't want another 400 plus. I've already done that multiple times. Sixteen hours. I landed a 461 in four hours and 15 minutes. Ain't no noobs around here. That shit's for noobs. Don't know what they're doing. Taking way too long if it takes you that long. Holy shit. If it was 900 kilos, it might take that fucking long. Because you'd be trying that long and never be able to get it in. End up giving up or ruining your equipment, one or the other. Yeah, it better not be another 400 plus. it down a little bit again see if he flips more less oh almost showed his head. there he is oh oh bro it's looking pretty good to me i don't know that head looks fat <laughs> Ooh, baby Head was looking beefy. All right, 
Alright, see you in three hours, vassal. Fuck out of here. Ooh, baby. One thing I'm worried about is when he turns, it doesn't really go completely slack. Uh, I guess it did. I'm like the, the bigger they are, the longer they are. When they flop, it like goes completely slack. But I don't know. It goes pretty slack, I guess. Maybe I'll fuck around and see <clears throat> if I can get him to leave. It'd be too hard, actually. Go play with him down there in the other spot. How easy it is to get him to leave. You just tighten up, get him off the wall again, get him to go the other way, and then loosen up again. And let him continue on down. Sit there and try to tell I tried to tell bad boys that like fifty times the other day how easy it is, and he would just sit there and do exactly not what I'm saying and say it's impossible. I'm like, okay, bro. Trying so hard to help this man out. He would not listen to me for shit. Like, so easy to get him out of the fucking corner if you do it right. When you tighten it up, you're helping get him away from the wall. Like you pull him off the wall and then he wants to go further because he goes past whatever lump was, was stopping him, whatever it's picture a speed bump or something. He's against the wall. So all you do is lower it at the right time, raise it at the right time with the drag and get him to go farther and farther down. It's really easy. I've typed out like paragraphs to bad boys trying to tell him how to get it out of the corner. He just wouldn't fucking do it. But it's hard to try to communicate exactly what to do through a fucking text. Yeah, he's like this. And just doing one thing, the constant. I'm like, dude, keep it where you can see him, what he's doing, where he's at. Use the drag to pull him away from the wall, and then let him go once he wants to go again. Actually, really easy. You all seen that I got him out within literally 30 seconds of trying. Just like put him right out of the fucking wall, out of the corner. Easy mode. What up, Last Pharaoh? 
Yeah, I got a big ass fish on, bro. It's gonna take hours. Might be a trophy beluga, 500 plus kilos. Probably at least 400 plus, but it's gotta be 500 to be a trophy, so that's what I'm really hoping for. I need to do something before I leave this area, though. And uh, get him to move on down further where he keeps running. Keep on going. Once he starts going, he'll probably just keep going. I want to get him far enough away where there's like constant pressure. Let's get right about here. Should do. Oh. No, don't do that. That's not what I wanted. Supposed to keep going. Stay tight. There he goes now, he's just screaming off. I'm not trying to get spooled on these. No point. Get those out of the fucking water. Yeah, there should be a, for anybody joining, there's probably plenty of clips of his head from that other corner, but I'm going to take him down here and probably play with him in the channel, get some good looks at him. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You got to be careful with... Well, that's why I literally bring my bring my shit in because you're using a line that could potentially break your rod. So you got to bring your other lines in if you're smart. What up, Kaput? It's kind of weird, Chubb. I should have broke my... Uh, I should have broke my rod before to be honest and it just didn't you know what I mean like I think there's like a chance involved like some kind of percentage of chances of what breaks or something weird I don't think it's an exact science on what's stronger and what's not because I'm a million percent positive that the gear I was using before when I broke my line should have broke my rod with the percentages of wear and all that brand new line on a worn out rod and all that it, it was a hundred percent that my rod was weaker than my line like a million percent but for some reason the line broke and I got lucky so I think I don't think it's uh I don't think it's an exact science to it some kind of chance involved or some bullshit it should be exact because you're going by you know specs numbers
Yeah, that's what you would think. You know, it's not like breaking the line. It's just ripping it off the spool from the tie or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I always thought you were safe doing that as well, but I also don't take chances. No point in taking chances. You can just play it smart. So I'm going to try to work him around into that channel over there. Or maybe I'll stick him right on the other side right there and see if we can't get a good look at him again. Reeling moves you? No, I'm, I'm moving myself. I'm taking the fish where I want him to go. I brought him out of that corner and I'm bringing him down to this corner, around the corner and up into that channel is where I'm going to land him. So my, the other corner way down there where I was at is uh, terrible for landing him. Quester. There's a couple there's a couple clips or there's at least one clip but you could find some you could make another clip where I was even zoomed in more like this instead of just the half zoom when his uh head came out there's plenty of chances to clip I, I kept him in that corner for about 20 minutes or whatever so we could get some looks at him but I'm gonna bring him over here into these uh channels and look at him I wanted to see what he would do right there. I'm kind of testing that side of the... Ooh, look how big that tail was. Look at that. What do you think about that? Trophy? Oh, good. I'm glad to hear Kapu say that shit. up fearless 600 plus I hope so I'll land him mm, look I think he's gonna go right where I want him to let's go ahead and send him up that side we'll take him over there and play with him in the shallows see what he looks like even better Lower the drag, let him go way up there. It's a video game. If the line didn't go through the trees, you'd never be able to catch shit in this game. The fish take hours and hours to fight. You get spooled no matter what, because you wouldn't be able to go anywhere. I'm moving like this so I can keep my line tight. Not losing. But when he starts running, it makes it easier because I can just go. I need to pass him up before he gets too far down there. I'm going to run at an angle and risk it.
Oh yeah, he's in a good spot. Yeah, I can land him in this channel a lot easier than anywhere else. Well, I brought him down here, but he's nowhere near getting landed yet. I just want to be able to play with him and see him better. God, the Russian spies, paparazzi up in the plane, trying to get footage. Oh. Looking like a thick boy. I can't let him go much further than this at all. Don't want him in this corner over here. None. I got to get him to go back up that way. real good over here A certain spot where I was using to show him a lot can't remember where it was he was right there Right there in that little corner. It's like a little. Yeah, right where he is right now. You used to flip. I got the other one to flip a lot right there. Come on, show yourself. Maybe lower down on it. Jeez, he's looking real big over here. I'd say it's definitely looking bigger than my last one, and it was 461. And it's looking considerably bigger to me. So I'm thinking trophy now. Getting happy. Could be wrong, though.
Ooh. It's looking big to me, guys. What y'all think? Trophy or nah? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too. Now the question becomes, do I fuck up or do I land him correctly? At least I got some practice yesterday or whatever on that 461. I think it was yesterday, wasn't it? Fuck, I don't even know. The day before or whatever. Don't seem to want to show his head over here, but a lot of tail shots. Ooh, he's on his way down. We don't want that. No, 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 no. You go back. Show your head. Show your head. Mirrorheads, what up, man? What the fuck?
Yo, thanks for the follow. If you want to keep your line tight, you better. But I got key binds set up for things to make it easier. Yeah, if you're not reeling, as soon as he turns, he's he's that long. As soon as he turns, your line goes completely slack, and you're gonna fucking lose him. But yeah, you just reel all the fucking time. But I have my reel button set on space bar as a secondary reel in, so it's real easy. And I can make my shift button stay down permanently. Because my keyboard's dope. So shifts automatic for me when I hit a certain button it just turns my shift key on basically and I'm just holding space bar and if I get tired of that I could just sit my pocket knife on my space bar it's heavy as fuck and now I'm completely zero hands Yay! real hard Ustachum, thanks for the follow. Ah, oh, he almost showed his head, I think. Motherfucker. Go a little bit lighter on the drag, see what he, he does on flipping. Yeah, he looks good, man. I'm gonna keep him right where he's at, right there. If I can get him to go to the other side, he seems to flip really good right there. Ooh. He don't show his head much in the channel though. I don't think it's deep enough or something. Something about this channel, they don't like to show their head a lot. In that corner, the original corner where I hook them, they show their head a lot. I literally got him out of that corner within 30 seconds and trying. Doing it the right way. Pretty easy. I shouldn't have brought him here this early because I mean I got like three hours to go before he gets tired and doing this shuffling back and forth for three hours is kind of annoying I might stick him back down in that corner for a while to be honest but I wanted to bring him over here and play with him a little bit see what he looks like he's looking pretty good if you ask me. Try to put him right where that patch of weeds is. See if he flips right there. Kind of in that little cubby hole area. Ooh. Come on, show your head.
<laughs> Thanks for the follows, guys. I'll be honest with you, we probably got about three hours before he even gets tired. And then it takes about an hour or something to land him. Oh. Gonna be brutal. I'm to see what he might do down here by this area. Yeah, go back over there and let's see if you flip. He's just staying in the middle. On the, over here. I could almost net him right there. Yeah, it seems deeper right there or something. He's sticking into the middle. I think I'm going to let him go back into the corner and just chill like this, be able to AFK his ass for a while. I need to be able to make drinks and shit myself. He should just stay in that corner easy, go back and forth. Thanks for all the follows, guys. Let's see what we got here. Extremely loud, my bad. You'd be all right. All right, I'm gonna get some coffee. I'll be right back.
Oh, we got a good look at him. I think he's bigger. I'm pretty sure. It's hard to say, but he looks bigger to me. Bad boys, I see you in here lurking. You listening? Somebody clipped the part where I was giving bad boys hell. I did exactly what I was telling you to do, bad boys, and literally got this thing out of the corner in 30 seconds from trying. Like I put him in the corner just to look at him, was flipping him around. I said, watch this shit. Boom. Out of the corner, 30 seconds. Doing what I was telling you to do. It's so easy. Yeah, I hope he is Wolfie. I can't tell. I mean, he looks big as fuck. So did the last one. This one might look bigger. I don't know. He's definitely a big boy. I got some fresh coffee brewing. Ooh, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. I had like some old coffee from yesterday. I just dumped that shit out. I was like, oh no, we're going to need fresh coffee for this shit. Yeah, that shit's fun. I hope I get it that way I can go do other shit because I want to catch some other shit as well. I might focus on, uh, well, I, I can only focus on Sturge for so long because I'm going to run out of bait, but I'd like to focus on getting a big Sturgeon as well. Blue Tag Russian or a Trophy Persian, Trophy Baltic. Baltics are probably the best way to go. I won't burn through bait near as fast. I don't have no way to buy anymore. I'm broke as fuck. Ain't worked in ages over this stupid broken hip bullshit. Holy shit. Come on, coffee, get done. I need you. I'll bring him back into this channel and we can look at him again here in a little bit, but there's no point in just running back and forth a million times for three hours straight. At least wear him out in the corner for a little while here and there, especially at nighttime. I don't think he shows himself at all on that corner. Loosen up a little bit on him. I'll end up losing him though over too much slack in my line trying to look at him. Yeah, I got a big one on Papa. Big, big. He's big, big. Yeah, I'm thinking trophy. Personally, I think trophy for sure, but you never know. Looked real fucking big to me.
Yeah, he didn't show himself much over there at all, unfortunately. Best to just keep my line tight until daytime. And then we'll fuck with him. In the in the channel over here again and get a look at him for you guys. <laughs> I swear to God, if it is, if it's 499.99, I will uninstall on stream. Yeah, there's some clips. Somebody's there's probably a couple clips people have clipped of its head and tail and shit. That you go back and look at or whatever. But I'm gonna bring him over here in the channel again here in a little bit and fuck with him. But it's just you know they don't really die out to like three and a half four hours in. So running back and forth in this channel for hours on end before you have to try to land him for hours is not a good idea because your hand will be so cramped up. Like, I need, to, I need my hand to be fresh for the attempted landing because it's hard as fuck to land these things. God damn it. Not a joke. line overload you mean using a drag the way it's meant to function it only costs 450 silver to fix a drag you're not gonna catch a 500 kilo fish without melting your friction brake that's just reality and it don't matter because landing him you lock the drag completely so it don't matter that the drag is worn out because you've bypassed the drag by locking it you're using the drag right now to wear the fish out so you can land him later. If you're not putting any pressure on him, why would he ever give up? Yeah, no. Yeah, you can't just reel this fish in. You've got to lock your drag completely and risk breaking your rod and reel and everything and try to get him in millimeters at a time <clears throat> with the drag completely locked. And uh, it's hard as fuck. Dangerous as hell. Yeah, I got him in the corner for now just because it takes hours and hours to wear him down, so... I'm trying to save my hand until I need it instead of wearing my hand out early. But I will bring him back over here and play with him in the channel again so we can look at him once it gets daytime or whatever. Nah, he's nowhere near dining. Yeah, I'm not going to let him die in the corner. I'm going to bring him out way before then. Come on, guys. It's not my first rodeo.
is it even worth it to catch it? I mean, depends on what you consider worth it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, do you want a trophy beluga so you can pull your dick out and be like, look how big this thing is? Look at my giant donkey dick. Look what I did. I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. Pretty sure it's worth like, how much is it? How much are these things worth? Like thousands and thousands. I forgot. I don't even know what trophies are worth. I think the trophies are like worth. Uh... Anybody know what the trophies sell for? I can't remember. 9,000 silver. Yeah. There. Do you think 9K silver sounds good for one bitch? I do. <laughs> Be bad and shut up. That's my homie. But really the biggest, for me, I guess it's all personal. It's worth it to me to go through all this hill. Do you know how long it takes to hook one this big and how much practice you got to take and how much gear you've destroyed and times you've broken shit off after hours of fighting and everything else to get to the point where you're landing these things? I mean, some people would consider it not worth it at all. Some people have no desire to catch belugas because it's fucking insane, but I love it. A friction break on this reel is 450 silver. No matter how worn it is, you're just replacing it. It costs 450. Basically nothing. All right, Fearless. You gonna stop back in? Tiote, what up, man? Where's Mind Games making bets? Yeah, I felt bad for as in making that bet last time I knew I've caught so many of them. He hadn't even caught any, so I don't think he really knew what he was doing. But I was like, oh, bro, you lost this bet. You might as well go buy those 500 crayfish tails right now. Mind Games actually sent me 60 of those crayfish tails as well for that bet. That was pretty dope. Well, each fast life, each uh, shop is different. Prices for everything, even repairs. So some repairs cost more, but it'll be done quicker. And you can go other places where it won't cost as much, but it takes longer. And then you can go to certain maps like Ladoga has a Beluga store for the Beluga reels. And fix them there for a better price. What up, Hilde? On tour. So pretty much once you figure out the workshops, Fast Life, you figure out whether or not you want it done fast for more money or you don't care and you just do it slower for less money. I usually only repair at night. You know, if you're going to go to sleep, just leave your game running. Hit escape so you're not using your graphics card. You're just looking at the little black window shows your profile shit whatever and just stay in game and let it repair while you're sleeping and you're good when you wake up you're all ready to go but I got four vangas so when I'm beluga fishing I'll if I burn one up I'll just go throw it in the shop put another one on and repair while I'm actually playing with friction brakes because you burn through friction brakes like crazy doing this shit Nah. If he was looking at his mechanism and everything else, dude, you're, I didn't even do but like 1% wear on my mech catching a 461, you know? It's not... Uh, that was all... If he fixed his mechanism as well, and that's why it costs so much, that mechanism wear was from like a month of playing the game with that reel, not from that one fish. The friction break only cost 450 silver. If he tried to show you the price of his mechanism as well, that has nothing to do with catching one fish. That's like catching hundreds and hundreds of fish over like a month or something, thousands of fish even. These mechs last forever. 
Now the mech works different than the the brakes. The brake is one price, period. No matter how worn it is, the mech costs more the more it's worn out. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I never let my mechs go over like 10, 12 percent and just repair them. The way it's cheap and my reels stay strong. Because the lower your mech is, the lower the the breaking point of the mech is when you're locking your drag on big fish like this which you don't have to worry about that if you're just doing normal fishing but if you're catching fish like this and the only way to land them is to lock the drag and be in the red zone about to snap your shit the whole time you want your mech to be strong if you had 20 percent wear on your mech that means your mech is 20 percent weaker and it's going to break easier and you do not want that so I always keep my mechs very well repaired and it's cheaper anyway too many people wait too long man they like they're buying all kind of useless shit they don't even fucking need and just dumb shit and they never repair and then they just spend all their silver and then they got 25 percent worn mech and they're like this thing costs too much to repair no you're terrible at managing your money you didn't keep up with your equipment and you bought new equipment for different types of fishing before you repaired the gear that made you the money to buy that equipment and now you're in a position where you can't even afford to repair your shit it's your own goddamn fault you dumb you dummy so don't be that guy all right, I'm gonna try to get him over here in this shit again without losing him. Yeah, if you're not catching huge fish and you don't give a fuck about racking up mech wear, then do it, you know? As long as you're saving money, it don't matter. But if you have to lock your drag to land the fish you're catching, you don't wanna have a worn out mechanism at all. <laughs> Because you're going to be hitting that red zone way quicker because your mech is now the weak point. It's going to be way weaker than your rod and way weaker than your line. At 20%, you're fucked. I don't even like going to 10% for beluga reels. If I'm going fish, if I'm fishing for belugas, I don't even want to be nowhere near 10% where I want them brand new. Matter of fact, maybe, maybe 5%. But for general fishing, you don't have to worry about it, especially with lighter reels and stuff where, you know, lower level stuff, you're catching little normal fish. And you can do whatever you want. Just don't spend all your damn money <laughs> before you repair your shit. On some, you know, if you're a bottom fisherman and you got three reels that need repair and you've made a bunch of money and you spend it on a whole spin fishing setup <laughs> and now you can't afford to repair any of your shit. <laughs> That's not good. I've seen people do that, and they're like mad at the game. It's like, bro, you decided to do that. That's on you. The game didn't make you fucking do that. My shit's pretty much maxed. I turn shadows off because they don't look good on this game anyway. And, uh, I turn everything to max except like grass. I just leave on simple. Turn your rendering distance down horizon to like a fourth of the way up. Rendering distance is like useless on this game. It taxes your GPU for no reason. I'm saying like who cares that I don't see tons of weeds and shit all over that hillside over there that's rendering distance you'd see the same weed and grass all over that over there like who gives a fuck you know turn that shit down it'll, if you have a lowering system it'll help you a lot but the, the most taxing shit really is the reflections in the water I believe and shadows Water, reflection, shadows, and rendering distance would be <clears throat> the things to play with if you're trying to get better performance. I used to have a 1060, and it kind of struggled with some of the settings, but the 1080 Ti don't give a fuck. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm streaming and playing at the same time, and it's like nothing. But I'm also, my CPU is overclocked to 5 gigahertz on all cores, which makes a big difference on what it's able to uh, process, basically. Even affects your, I mean, it definitely affects what it can do with your graphics card. It can actually push your graphics card to its max. There we go, get him down here in this corner. Yeah, I play all kind of shit. I've never, I've never probably ever hardly used 55% of my memory and it's only 16 gigs. 32 gigs is still, it's useless. Like RAM, real expensive, nice RAM costs a lot. So 16 gigs is enough for anything nowadays. You don't need that much RAM. 32 gigs would be more for like a server application or something. Uh, for playing games and multitasking with like a browser open playing games watching videos like you don't need 32 gigs of ram you'd be better off spending that extra money on putting it into something else a better cpu better video card better ssd because it's useless i don't think i've ever gone over 55 percent memory usage with 16 gigs not like you're uh hosting a data server or some shit Yeah, I've never seen any game that needs more than 16 gigs of RAM yet. Not even close to that, honestly. Definitely be better off spending the extra money that you spent on double the RAM on another component being better than it is. Show yourself. This is the spot where he's usually flipping around really good. Ah, almost showed his head. He showed his fucking nose. Tease. I'm going too far down this way at all. Get your ass back up that way. No, 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 don't be coming down here. Size. Oh god. I think it's just the hundred grammar that uh Dan Winter gave me from the shop. Forty seven one hundred twenty eight clip. Same thing everybody's doing. there go across to the other side flip right there this is usually where I get them to really show off I keep him right there I'll be going down
I use V-Sync on this game as well with no issues. It's not a first-person shooter, so it don't really matter, but it still feels like first-person shooters feel weird and unresponsive with V-Sync, but this game, it doesn't seem to matter. I'll just lock my frames at 60 with that. That way I have plenty of overhead to stream. There's no point in getting 300 frames per second on a fucking fishing game. Why do you need that? And then, you know, your, your card's pushing 99% to get as many frames as it can just to stare at rods then there's no extra room for streaming but 60 fps my shit's doing like 15 percent fucking usage you know what i mean it's doing nothing so then i have tons of overhead for streaming performance but on first person shooters i don't know uh a good program to limit your frames and You'll still get screen, even if you lock your frames to whatever your monitor's refresh rate is, you'll still see tearing because it's not still, it's not synced still. It might be the same, but it's not synced. But there's a, if you get MS, MSI Afterburner, it also installs a different program as well with it. It's called uh, Reva Server Statistics or something, Reva something or other. You can open that program up, lock your frames, and then there's a scan line sync and you can go positive or negative numbers with it and basically go into a first person shooter game or whatever game you want to have max frames on without using v-sync or you want to lock your frames on go like this see where the tearing is on your screen right you'll see it across the top of your screen like three inches down whatever it is and then start moving that number the scan line sync up or down and you can literally push that off of your screen it like moves where that scan line sync is it's really fucking cool i use it for daisy i lock my frames to like 140 on daisy and then I, I move around find the line and move it up or down move it off of my screen so it's like uh it's almost like having g-sync without having to fucking pay for it or something but it's a little program that installs with msi afterburner it's like Reva Tuner Statistics Server or some bullshit. He does all kinds of shit. But I just use it to set a frames limit and then use the scan line sync to push the tearing that you see on your screen off the screen. It's really nice. How much more will you pull? Till he's dead. Hours. Probably two and a half hours from now, he'll finally get tired. <clears throat> and then the trying to land him process begins. Ooh. Finally showed his head a little bit and I wasn't zoomed. Of course. You lower this down, see what he does. I mean, looks pretty big to me. Maybe it's not a trophy, I don't know, but it looks good. Who knows? Yeah, I was doing that last time, getting him to move. To worry him out a little more at the very end when he's still... He's trying to trick you at the very end. He lays still a bunch and then he does these little bursts out of nowhere. And if you jumped right into locking your drag as soon as you thought he was dead, he's going to break you off. So he was saying you just kind of do that little shit, get him to go. And uh, really worry him out for like an extra 20 minutes doing that. Seem to help. This motherfucker clicked a create a link link. Top tier Papa. <laughs> what the 
the fuck? <laughs> now we know. It was funny. Where the other side? He just stays in the middle. Go over there and flip around, you little shit. Right there is where he's done some good flips. That tail looks pretty freaking big, man. I don't know. It's hard to say if it's a trophy or not. I'm just going to assume it's four ninety nine. That way I won't be upset when it's not a fucking trophy, you know. Or even... I'm going to assume it's three fifty. Fuck it. That way I won't be pissed off when it is. And if it happens to be a trophy, I'll be happy. What do you guys think, though, looking at it? So far, what you've seen with the tail and stuff, you guys think it looks like trophy or what? Thanks for the follow. Thanks for all the follows, guys. This game, for some reason, most people's Twitch names are fucking impossible to pronounce, so I'm just like, thanks. I ain't gonna attempt to pronounce some of these names. Thank you, thank you. He's already acting lazy, actually. What's he doing? The Pazuro. Oh, he wanted to show his head and then he fucking went down. Oh no, man. I don't know if it's a trophy or not. Doesn't look quite big enough, I don't think. Probably another troll fish. 400 something or no. I'm gonna catch his bitch ass regardless. That tail looks good though. What do y'all think? Nobody said anything. Do y'all think it's a trophy or what? You just seen the tail big as fuck. What do y'all think? I don't know.
gift from Elwood. Yeah, he's uh, donated and dropped multiple five sub gift bombs and all kind of shit. Fucking awesome. So much tail. Come on, show your head. Oh, you meant the trophy. <laughs> Yeah, my sub count's looking awfully low, guys. What can y'all do about that? Oh! Booyah! I look big to me, baby. Woo! You seen that? He juicy! Bro, he was looking hella nice. He was looking hella nice. Gimme, gimme. Man, I hope he's a fucking trophy. I don't know why I have him over here. It's just costing me headache having to run back and forth a million times I guess just to finally get that shot right there somebody clip that okay good somebody did Ooh. Cause that's the only reason I brought him over here was to see that finally he finally did it I really should put him in the fucking corner and just let him wear himself out cause uh the more I fucking do this to my hand holding these buttons down and running back and forth for hours before I gotta try to land him it makes me a much higher chance of making a mistake when landing him when my hands all cramped up and fucked up from doing this. Stop going this way, Jesus. All right, see you in the past life.
Yeah, he showed his head finally a minute ago. Somebody clipped it. Nah. So if people want to come, they can come. I don't ever really do shit like that. I don't care. I say that, but yet I'm the one that told Mind Games to change his title to Grandpa Luga. And he got like crazy V's doing it, but I don't give a fuck. I just do me. I've used the same stream title for like years. I don't even give a fuck. I'll put more effort into somebody else's shit than I will my own. Because I'm lazy like it. Nah, I don't want nothing to do with grandpa. That shit was crazy. 900 kilos, I'll pass. I will fucking pass on that. He wouldn't even come down past that little skinny section. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, that's looking pretty nice. That's looking pretty nice. Grandpa Luga couldn't even get down here. He was so big. That's crazy. Couldn't even fit to get to this part of the map. Actual dinosaur. That's why I named my clip on his channel. Actual fucking dinosaur. I'm just hoping this one is just a little bit over 500 and I'm not even sure if it is. It's definitely not one of those huge ones, I wouldn't think. They look way too big, like when they put their heads up it's almost like, it's they're so big it goes by so slow and it's like a huge dinosaur head. This one isn't, isn't looking like that. It's looking good and juicy but it's not looking like an actual fucking dinosaur or anything. I'm just hoping he's barely over 500, it's all I want for now. I, once I get my trophy, then I'll be maybe interested in getting a bigger one, but give me a 501 and I'm happy. Yeah, Chubb, I'm thinking it's bigger, but you know, it's so, looks can be deceiving. How come the other one never showed his head though? It's almost like the other one is too big to show his head. Like only his tail is, but this one shows his head more. So is he smaller, you know? Or is it the other way around? I, you know, I don't know. The other one wouldn't show his head for nothing. Maybe he was too small to show it or something. I fucking don't know. I'm worried. I'm thinking it's going to be a troll fish and it's not going to be a trophy. But I'm praying to God it's at least 501. It's definitely a badass fish regardless. I probably still got two hours of this to go before he gets tired. Hour and a half to two hours. It'd probably be smart for me to not have him in this channel right now and just <clears throat> put him in the corner over there and let him wear himself out, but. This is more fun, I guess. Gives me something to do. AFK reeling in the corner is kind of boring. Got share the stream link with your friends, and uh, 
make sure to follow subscribe donate drop bits all that good shit you know how it goes Maybe it is a dinosaur. That looks pretty juicy. That was looking pretty juicy. It looked nice, didn't it? Like, was it just me or did that actually look like it might be a trophy this time? Oh my god. I don't want to get my hopes up. You know, I'm just got that feeling like don't get <laughs> once I'm sure it's a trophy, then it won't be it won't be one. So I don't wanna I don't wanna say it's a trophy, but that every time I see its head I get excited. Like the head does look pretty beefy, man. No, nah, I don't think it'll be. I think people have caught like six to seven hundred kilo ones. I don't think it'll be that big, but who knows? You know, it's hard to say. It's hard to say just by looking at them. One thing I know for sure is they're hard as fuck to land, and it's stressful as hell trying to land them. And I got that to look forward to. It's going to be fucking insane. Am I gonna walk this one? Oh yeah, at the end. Don't surrender, never. You don't know me, it's not an option for me. I'm gonna put him in the corner again, guys, and just chill for a minute. Cause, uh, yeah. I need a break, and I gotta save my hand for the landing. So I'm gonna let him swim down there into the corner, and relax. I guess when it gets daylight again, we'll bring him, we'll bring him back down. But I need a little break. I'm lowering my drag to so he can go over there, man. Listen to what I'm saying before you ask silly questions. Well, I keep the drag on 29 when I'm trying to get him to swim over there to that corner. And I could lower it and allow him to do that. He's over there. Just crank back up on him. You're good to go. Yeah, guys, post the clips of the head and tail and shit or whatever. All the clips you guys take. You just periodically post them for people that just joined or whatever. Could see them. That'd be appreciated. Because I can't do it. I have to minimize and my guy stops reeling and all that. I'm not going to lose the fish over it. Jackpot. I'm glad to hear it.
was he here earlier? I didn't see him.
<laughs> you out of here for a while? My right, man. You guys want music or you just want to hear the drag scream? When it gets daytime again, I'll probably bring him back over here in the channel. We can see him and fuck with him. I put him in the corner and just AFK'd it for a while to give my hand a break. I'm getting ready to send him back up to the channel now so we can look at him more.
And there he goes.
Yo, thanks for all the follows, guys. Trying to bring him a little bit farther up here. If he needs to go to the other side, though. Let's see if he'd flip around over here any better. He wants to come right here. What if he puts his head up right here? I'll hit him with the net. Come here, bro. <laughs> It seems like when I bring him up this way, he just wants to stay in the middle. I need to put some chopped up perch in my net and get him to come over and try to eat them. Here you go. Come get him.
He doesn't really like showing his head very much at all. Sadly. Send him up this way. We can do that. Every time I bring him up this way, he just sits in the middle. Yeah, I'll try to find it. I'm going to try to keep him right over there. It's tough, though. Because he could be there, but then you got to get him to do the right thing. Like, he keeps the cut close. He's coming to this side. Can't get him to go away from me. Oh, over there. Fuck, the bushes are all right in that area. He just wants to sit in the middle over here. See if I loosen up on him a little bit. Ooh, baby. Where is that at? Right about here? He's right there, bro. You can almost net him. Holy shit. 
Come on up and say hello. He's right here. Well, I don't think I won't net your ass. Oops. Go back the other way. Dude, he came all the way up to the shoreline. That shit. He gives no fucks. He's trying to bite me. He mad. Oh, you tell me. Looks big as fuck to me. Somebody clipped that last head shot. That was like the best one yet, man. Somebody's got to clip that. Not that one. Didn't somebody already do? I'm talking about the one he just showed. What do y'all think? Does it look trophy or troll? 499 type bullshit. It was a good spot over there, that 89. The killer. I'm hanging in there. Yeah, he's thick. Take him back up here to 88, 89 area. He showed his head. Oh, no, no, you stay over there. 
Get back over there. Damn it. Like no fucking replay. <laughs> Shows himself good in that spot, but he doesn't want to sit over there. It's really hard to get him over there. As soon as you get him there, he goes out of it. He's right there. Now I gotta get him to go across. Right there is where he did it. Kinda. No, 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 no. Go the other way. Go back. Oh, your head again, you little shit. He did it in that one spot, but see how he does, he does not want to stay there. It's like he comes out of there real quick. And to get him to do the right thing while he's in there for that short moment is tough. He likes sticking to this side for some reason up here. It almost net his ass. He comes so close. Go across to the other side and flip. Go, go, go. You don't want to do it again, but it worked in that one spot really well that you said. Uh, whenever he'll finally do it. Oh, there was his nose. He didn't really look too big right there. I don't know. here go across the other way and flip stubborn little fucker he likes to be on this side
how close he is, dude. You could net him right there. Literally on the fucking shore for a second. That spot where he flipped real good, he will not sit there. He wants to go right past it every time. Or camp on this side. Like right where he's at now, he needs to go to the other side. He just camps over here. Oh man, he ain't he ain't even close probably. Until he's sitting there doing nothing for like 15 20 minutes, he'll do, he'll try to trick you, then he'll sit down like he's chilling and then he'll do these bursts. You got to wait till he's done doing that bullshit. And then finally you can try to land him, but he ain't even sitting still yet, so probably going to be at least another hour before he stops moving. I've had about enough of trying to get him to roll in this spot. Send him back on down there a little ways.
he almost showed his head. I wish. It's like a nice tail. Wish I could watch the clips of his head. Only seen it a couple times. Yeah, I caught a 461 the other day. I think it died around three and a half hours or something. Three hours, 40 minutes or something like that. And then I got it in in 415 or four and a half or something. I can't remember. So I hope this one is still kicking at like four hours. That's what I need. Like he's just now tiring out at like four hours or more. And then I'll know he's a trophy. But if he tires out before then... It might be another troll one before something. Only 2k. Trophy's like 10k though. Head looks pretty chunky. That looks good to me, guys. I don't know about y'all. That looks big. How am I going to do that when I got to run back and forth endlessly? keep him in one area he's so fast once he gets away from you you got to catch up and get to the other side and of him and get him to turn around but if he gets too far that way and gets in that corner he's stuck i can't i can't be risking that shit i'm not putting him in the corners no more because he could die in that corner and then i'd be fucked A minute for the long run now fighting him till it I'm gonna keep fighting him like this till he dies I'm not gonna risk putting him back in the corner for like 15 20 minutes or something then he dies on me in a deep ass hole over there whatever What's up, Enzo? 
Yeah, I hope so, man. There's a bunch of clips. Can people post some clips for Enzo so he can tell me whether or not he thinks it's a trophy? The most recent head clips and shit. Did anybody clip that last one? That was really fucking good. Post the ones where he was up here in this uh, <clears throat> channel, not the ones from long ago in the corner. See, once he starts coming, it's real quick. If you ain't on top of it, he'll be in that corner and I'll be fucked. Looks like trophy. Good news. I landed a 461 the other day. It broke my heart. So, I'm hoping this one is uh, the real deal. Guys, post some more clips of the head, please. There was a whole bunch of the most recent head clips, so we can look at it. What's the difference in the eye? You guys gotta teach me that. But what's the deal with the eye? I don't know anything about that. It's smaller? Oh, that's weird. Way smaller eye on a trophy? I guess it's it's small looking in comparison to how big his head is or something. Cover the fat. Nice. Good to know. I'll need some like screenshots or something to compare and look. Yeah, I wish I need some pictures or something to look at. You got your trophy though already, Enzo? Me too. Well, you know how much time we put into doing this shit. I finally got a 461. And I got a 415 Black Sea Beluga. Well, next step is trophies, goddammit. I'm sick of this shit. Some people get them like nothing. It's taken me this long, thousands of hours to fucking hook a goddamn trophy. The first one I've ever had on my line. When I first started today, I caught like six little bitty ones in like an hour and a half. Like both rides would go off, two rides would go off at the same time with like seven kg ones on there. And I just reel them right in like, oh my God.
There was tons of them biting way earlier today. Then it was really slow. I was watching like a bunch of YouTube videos and documentaries without a single bite. And then out of nowhere, this guy bit. You gonna leave, Chubb? If you're gonna stay and watch, you might as well keep your rods in the water. Yeah, you'll never get him if your rods aren't in the water. That's the, that's the whole thing, sadly. See, once they start going, they go quick. Hard to catch up with them without putting too much slack in the fucking line. Come up and do a little slow head spin right here so I can net you. Trying to get him back to my little spot where he flips real good. He was almost there and he turned around on me. What's up, RC Invader? Christos? Sorry if I'm missing anybody in chat. I fucking... I'm only glancing at it here and there. That's the spot right there where I gave him to flip a bunch. Oh, don't go out of it. Quick boy, he tried to get out. Get back over there.
The spot where he's at right there. I've got him to flip real good. Come on. Do it. Oh my god. Big slack.
No, it's not going to take that long. I caught a 461, landed it in 4 hours and 15 minutes. You should die out around 4 hours, I'm guessing. And it takes about an hour to land them or something. It'd be about 5 hours, maybe. 5 and a half tops. He's definitely slowed down. Oh, there's his head. Come on. Come on up, baby. Oh, yeah. Beast. <clears throat> How big you think it is? Just barely over five, I'm hoping. Like the perfect size, not too big to be fucking trying to land. You like them headshots? <laughs> Definitely slowing down.
try to drag his head up. He's too heavy. Fish for belugas. That's what I'm doing. Redeem the other one. The other one more important right now. There you go. Thanks, Denim. Yo, Roganovich. Thanks for the raid. Somebody clip this. Somebody send this guy the clips. Of this thing's head. I got a trophy beluga on the line. Somebody drop the clips for the raiders of the head. He might show it again here any moment. I've got him in the right spot. Right here in this spot, I can get him to flip. Some of these recent, if anybody clipped any of these recent ones where I had him spinning real slow, they were really good clips.
Huh? You never know, you might not. He's definitely slowed down a tremendous amount in three and a half hours. But he's not dead yet. I'm trying to keep him in a specific spot where he shows himself really good, but... Go back. Here you go. What's up, Roganovich? Can't type? Did you have a good stream or what? The Predator. Valerion, what up? Yeah, he might be too slow to show his head anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you have time but if you stick around for he's definitely slowing down tr tremendously so in about 20 30 minutes or something he might be dead and you could see the process of landing these things it's insane Yeah, there, somebody post a bunch of clips. I don't know why you guys are so damn useless. There's like a bunch of people that clipped a bunch of headshots. The only last time I asked, I only got one person to post a clip. Like, what the hell? I would do it, but I obviously can't. I'm a little bit busy. You guys can't be that lazy. One ten, yeah, probably should have done that. I just have eighty on. But I landed a four sixty one like two days ago on eighty kg braid, so I should be able to get this in. It'll be really tough though. <laughs> I had him doing slow-mo headshots right here and zoomed in all the way like this. I mean, psh, just slow. Held him up. It was beautiful. But he's not wanting to do it no more. He's slowing down dramatically. He was insane for hours. A million miles an hour. Really am I real? Right there is the spot. There it is. There it is. Ah. Fucking walked into it and fucked it up. Almost had a good headshot right there. I had to move the plants were in the way. Get back over in that spot. A 
Oh yeah, he's starting to lay down. It's good news. Yeah, who knows if it really makes a difference that 110 kg shit. I have to try it out. <clears throat> the rod's only 80, and the real mech is a little stronger than that, I think. But who knows? Maybe they're lying about the rod strength, and the 110 line actually gives you more power that you're not supposed to think you have or something. There's no telling with this game. Yes, he's starting to sit. We took three and a half hours. Oh yeah, when you just aim right at him, you're using just the line and not the rod. I see what you mean. I know what I'm doing. I know when to lock and it's not right now. The first time he laid, you definitely don't want to do it then. You gotta let him lay around because he goes through bursts like that all of a sudden and he'll snap your shit right away. He's trying to trick you into doing that, Keeler. So if you can get one on and you do that, you're gonna lose him. Yeah, I imagine not using the rod, aiming right at him like this, and just using the line and mech power would be much better. I should have done that, honestly, but. I'll land him with this 80. Fuck it. Do not come this way. No. Go back. I'm actually going to start sending him much further up that direction now. I can't. If I didn't wait too long. I might have waited too long. We go lower it down send him back I need to send him way up to the right so I have room to work with when I'm landing him come on go 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 I need all this room the currents running this way so I need all this room to use the current to my advantage dragging him towards downstream and in I need him to go way up that way 
get him to die up there. play the fish I'm on the other end of your line <laughs> that'd be cool give you like abilities yeah I walked to the last one in mind games So I'm trying to get him to go this way right now. I'm trying to get him to go over here. So when he dies, I'll have all the room to walk, dragging him with the current. Do it right. No, I lowered my drag because I'm letting him go that way. But yeah, that's what I mean about when Keeler said to lock the drag the first time he sat down. I was like, hell no, dude. Best way to break your shit, do that. He's trying to trick your ass. You gotta let him lay around like this multiple times where he stops pulling hard. Like, he'll lay around and then do these long bursts, but they turn into like little bitty pulls instead of long bursts. Once he starts moving, I lower it so he can go. I want him farther over that way still. Keep going. Piss him off again. Go, go, go. Yeah, we know, Keeler. We know. That's why I'm moving him to the right. There he goes. Trophy Beluga. so I can have a lot of room to work with when landing him. There we go, he's moving again. This is about as far as I want him up here, I guess. This works. I'll try to keep him in this area right here. Thanks for the follows, guys. <clears throat> no alert.
alert for sub? Are you kidding me? Do what? How is that possible? I don't even see it in my list. I'm seeing follows pop up, but nothing about a sub. What the fuck? Are you serious right now? Well, thanks, Chubb. It went up one, but it doesn't say, like, on the thing where I see the names who followed and all that, it doesn't say anything about a sub. And the alert never popped up. But Streamlabs fucks up sometimes. But that's very weird. For it to, for the follow, normally it just freezes up altogether. But for the follows to work and not a sub, it don't make any sense. Of course it would happen right now. Yeah, it was uh, acting weird last time. You had to keep reopening it. And then suddenly it would work. Stream uh, Streamlabs must be having issues right now. It did that uh, before as well, where it just didn't want to open up for some reason. Let me look at something. Hopefully I don't lose this fish doing this. Oh god. That's very important. Me. I mean, I'm looking on the goddamn website itself, Streamlabs website itself. It doesn't say anything about a sub. Like, what the fuck? I'm pissed. Yeah, like nothing, not doing shit. Is completely reloaded Streamlabs as you can see nothing about a fucking sub what the hell that's fucking lame dude I'm pissed Thanks a lot, Chubb. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, I'm looking at the actual Streamlabs website, relogged into it. It's the same thing that I'm using the Stream Labels app that shows all the follows, everything. It doesn't say anything about it. That's really lame.
He's getting real close. Probably give it. Oh, it's better safe than sorry. You don't want to waste all this time and then see how he's still pulling pretty good. And lose him over doing it 10 minutes too early. I'm at least giving it 10 more minutes. I can't believe that, dude. What a time for that bullshit to happen. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's definitely still way too strong. Oh yeah, that pull would have been a snap. Send him back upstream. He's still doing long pulls. Pretty hard ones. Yeah, that's why I for taking to go my line with slack because I'm actually taking my hands off and trying to get my hands loosened up because they're already a little crampy. This is going to be a rough, rough ordeal getting him out of my hands to be good
Yeah, that's the best part about having to wait a little bit when they die out to get them fully dead is you get a chance to give your hands a break before the real struggle begins. Very important. Take advantage of this moment right here. He's a short little burst now. I think he's about ready. Slow ticks and short bursts instead of them long runs. And be right at four hours, I think, was to be the perfect time to uh, start this bullshit. God damn, this is brutal, y'all. Actually, fuck this. I don't even feel like doing it. I'm just going to let him go. Fuck it. End the stream. Alright, guys. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see y'all next time.
<laughs> mini kappa. Slow little ticks and little bitty bursts. Ooh, there's a run. He's definitely a little calmer though. A little better. Yeah. Yeah, those bursts could just be him finally turning his whole body around. Who in here has landed a trophy beluga? You think he's ready? Oh, are you capping? Yeah, it's all it hasn't been like a run. Of course it's gonna get fucking pitch black dark. You think he's ready to uh go? It's about to get pitch black dark on me, dude. Fucking hell. Every time I get to where it's time to land one of these, it gets dark. I swear to God, every blue guy I've ever fucking landed started at nighttime. I do not want to do it in pitch black. Yo, thanks for the follows. Look at something on my phone real quick on the stream. See what's wrong with the fucking stream. Where's my dashboard? God damn it. I just clicked the donate thing on my phone. It opened up before we was acting funny. Wish I could like fake sub myself. Wait a minute. Chubb, are you trolling or did you? actually sub because <clears throat> it seems to be working and the donate link was working what did you, what did you use like a phone to do it or like something weird or why he said he subbed and nothing happened like it didn't even show up in the fucking list it's they still don't after looking at on the website it doesn't even show up Oh, that's so fucking weird, dude. I hate Streamlabs sometimes, I swear to God.
Yeah, I see that. That's why I just don't understand why it's not. I mean, some, it, normally it would show it in my list, but maybe the alerts were broken. Like, the alerts don't work sometimes, but it didn't even show it at all in the entire history of my channel on Streamlabs. Like, it does not show that you ever sub. It's just fucking weird. Actually, fucking lame. The stream is not sponsored by Streamlabs. Dude, I almost want to wait. So at least the, when the moon comes out and it's a little bit brighter where you can see something. This is fucking gonna be hell. What the fuck? What the fuck? I think that was a little bit late, bro. Oh, you refreshed the page? What? Dude, Streamlabs so weird. How did you refresh your page and it made the sub work? What in the actual fuck? That is the weirdest. I can't even, I don't even know how that is possible. But I'm glad it went off. Hell yeah, Chubb. Thank you, thank you for the sub, my man. The only sub of the stream. Catching a fucking trophy, Luga. I could easily do this without having the pressure of a hundred fucking people watching me. And just be watching a goddamn YouTube video and doing this casually on my own time as slow as I want. I stream it for you fuckers. Adds a whole lot of pressure to the situation, let me tell you. All right, one more little rip I'm pulling on him this way and see if he's able to go back up at all. Please turn around. I can see the terrain. See, seeing the terrain and everything is so important. And when it's this dark, you can't see shit. I think he's about ready. I don't know if I am. Oh! Thank you, Turbo. He kept the. You see the timer up there? He kept the. Uh, what's it called? A sub train going. Yeah, I think it's ready. I think it's ready. I'm flexing my hands, cracking my knuckles, getting ready for this. It's ready. I'm not. Be real honest with you. This shit's scary as hell. Sub trains at three. Well, it's really two because I did a fake sub to test what the fuck was wrong with the thing. All right, so I think I'm in a good spot. Thank you, Turbo Man. Oh, shit. Wait, there's actually a hype train. What the fuck? Sergeant coming through. Chubb, Turbo, and Sergeant. Appreciate you guys. Sergeant coming with the prime time. All 
All right. For the new guys, you don't want to unlock it because if you do, <clears throat> you're like losing. You want to gain at all times, so you like try to hold it in the red, <clears throat> get him to roll towards you. And you notice when he's pulling, I try to just aim towards him with my rod very slowly to keep it from going up the tension bar instead of loosening it or walking towards him. Like this, get my arm back this way so I have as much room to move to the right like this, like this, like this to keep it from going too high up. And it is a delicate balance. And he might just pull hard out of nowhere. And it's scary as fuck. I'm using the current to my advantage and pulling him downstream and towards me. Yesterday I was trying to pull a, or the other day I was trying to pull a 461 straight in, like straight across the current. Ooh, I had to literally walk towards him and it wasn't working. Like you have to pull him like downstream. That was sketchy as fuck. heart pounding I'm telling you what this is fucking too much Jesus no gains are being made well actually I am because I'm walking closer to him and reeling in so technically I'm getting closer to him but There's a roll. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, come on. I really appreciate guys. I can't really look at what's going on with the, the sounds and shit, but I love you. Whatever it is, I have to stare at that bar no matter what. Thank you so much for whatever it is. Oh my God. Turbo man dropping 300 biddies. I glanced. Holy shit, Turbo, you're the man. Please don't fuck this up, stalker. Come on. God damn it. He's pissed. You want to hold as much pressure on him as you can. Try to get him to fold and roll towards you. Like, what's happening under the water is he, like, his head rolls towards you a little bit. And then his whole body follows, and that's why it goes up again. Because <clears throat> his weight is so heavy.
It was daytime. I wish I could see exactly where he is. Because I can't really tell how close he is to the shore or what's going on. <clears throat> and I need to be able to see because I might need to have a different angle than what I'm doing right now. I might have to reset, like loosen the drag just a little bit, reset and look at where he's at and pull more inland than straight downstream like I'm doing. I can't tell how close he is. He's just sitting there. It makes me think I'm not I'm not on the right angle to get him to roll. Come on, come on. Thank you guys so much for all the support and for being here hanging out. Whew. I'm scared as fuck. I ain't even gonna lie. This shit's crazy. I need to look at him, but when you if I look at him, I lose all of my rod. And that scares me. Oh, do it, don't do it. I want to see where he's at in the water, how far my line is going out. Like, where is he compared to me? He's still out there a little ways, it looks like. Trying to get a different angle very slowly, like this. This is more of the angle I need. Come on. Hype train died. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, guys, for getting that popping. He's not coming, man. He's not giving me those rolls. And what can what you can do is too is when he rolls towards you, you can start walking and drag him and get a lot of gains all at once instead of reeling. But he's not giving me that opportunity. He either sits here or he takes, and that's not good. Come on, baby. Come on, roll. It's like I got him in a bad spot, dude. He is not wanting to fucking roll towards me right here. This is not good. I 
There it is. Try to drag, try to drag. There it is, baby. There it is. Oh my god. It's supposed to roll towards me at some point. Motherfucker don't want to do it. Just stays or he takes like that and I'm getting too close to the shore where I won't be able to move towards him anymore and that will be bad news change my angle a little bit more downstream, there we go.
and not a good spot getting like no gains Oh, come on, he wouldn't even fucking walk. He's stuck on this hill or some bullshit. Why is he, like, stuck, man? What in the actual fuck? Oh, my energy, I haven't been paying no fucking attention. Noob mistake.
Come on, roll. Gimme, gimme. Give me something, fish. I'm trying to like tug on him, like bounce the pressure, get him to roll.
It's okay. I'd rather reset it than fuck it all up. I might have to, uh... I hate going straight backwards, but... I might have to try it, actually. I need more room. At least this much. I really hate doing this. I'm better at the left or right. I don't think he comes in as good like this either. Like going downstream seems to work better than straight in. But every time I do that, he ends up getting straight across from me. Like every time I'm getting him in, pulling him downward at an angle or downstream, he gets in front of me and then his whole body flops and rolls back. And that's when the line starts shooting up all the weight of his body. And he's right in front of you. And you have nowhere to move and there's nowhere to go. So this is much better going backwards away from shore because you can move forward. But he seems to not ever want to come in when you're dragging him straight back like this, man. More of an angle. Come on, fish. Give me another roll. The weight of his body. When he flops back down, it's like, holy shit. You gotta slowly slow him down. It's literally just the weight of his body that does that. The trick is you don't want to let off on him too much because then he flops too hard and yanks real hard. Like when he, it's fucking tricky, man. <sighs> my heart is literally about to come out of my fucking body. Like I feel my heart in my goddamn toes. You watch, you notice when he kicks is when he, he's able to move. He'll do like a kick. And that's when he frees up, see? The little kicks are when he's movable. Otherwise, he's in stalemate. Keep that pressure. Oh my God, the kicks did the opposite that time. You don't want to let me sink too hard and fast. Come on, come on. He's sinking on me, God damn it. No. I need to use the current to my advantage. I need to go downstream. I 
like this. Damn, he kicked, but he's not doing the move. He's not doing the roll now. That's not good. There it is. There it is. Come on. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Damn it, why is he fading away so hard? That's not what you want. God damn it, man. He's heads the entire opposite direction. There you'll turn. There we go. Flopping back around. Fading off on me again. <sighs> Please stop. Son of a bitch. Come to daddy. Don't you fucking dare. Look at that. It's like suddenly he's just not. Like you can drag him in. And suddenly he's just pulling the other way so hard. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I'm going to have a stroke.
His kicks are not bringing him in now. Or making him movable. He actually pulls away from me. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. Don't, don't, don't. And then he fades off hard as hell. I think I could net him right there. Is he netable? <clears throat> I think I need one more kick. Yeah, I don't want to risk it because if he fades off, it's going to be really bad. He'll go way out. If I walk up and give him much slack, it'll be real bad. I need to give him one more drag in like this. I think that's all I'm getting right there. Oh my god, what I hit that button for? Woo! Let's fucking go! Oh my god, baby. Yes!
Holy shit, guys, I'm so pumped. Let me look for a second. Turbo Man with another 100. Anonymous Cheer with 100 bits. Chubb with 100 bits. All the subs. Thanks, guys. Now, everybody, the question is what's it worth? What's it worth? Let's go see. Let's see what he looks like in the net. Oh, beautiful. I need to take a screenshot. That right there. Oh, wait, I'm way the fuck down. What y'all think about that landing? It look easy, <laughs> but look hard. He's not even in the list, but we will sacrifice a beluga to the gods. Come on, boat. Let me off this fucking thing. Nine thousand nine hundred and eighty three. Keep it forever. Yeah, right. He's out of here. Look at him one time in here. Might as well get this screenshot too. The other eyes. <clears throat> look at these eyes and then look at those eyes. They look bigger on the fish. And these look tiny. Tiny eyes. That's pretty epic. Well, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that just because it says 10K. Boom! Most expensive fish, new record. Holy shit, guys. If you know how much time I've spent trying to catch that fish.